Right. Yeah. So, yeah. you're excited to hear a Comic-Con? Oh, yeah. 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 And is, it, is this something you've done often before? I know you've been here before, obviously, but uh, the rest of you, have no, you done this kind of thing? <laughs> obviously, <laughs> you're a guy. Can I tell you? Yes, I, before that week, you thought I'd disappeared. Oh, right. I was okay. actually here. <laughs> well, you were all working till four in the morning. So I was here, being wine and dine. <laughs> no, we did one in Naples before. Yeah. 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 And we did the San Diego one last, yeah, year, last year to announce the show. Oh, you've done, yeah, the big one. Yeah, we're old hands now. We're old <laughs> hands. Yeah. Old hands. Was that scary? Uh, no, overwhelming. Yeah. Overwhelming is the word I think. Yeah. 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 Anyway, just to mix it up a little bit, change it. Instead of introducing yourselves, I'd like you to introduce the person next to you oh. and who they play in the show. Okay. So, Patrick, would you like to start? This is Reg. <laughs> <laughs> Reg is described by our driver today as very cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought I could tell he's cool. <laughs> um, Reggie plays uh, the chief in the show quite well, I must say. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. One of my favorite uh, storylines is the chief's and, uh, and the deputy's storyline. Mm. And this is Caitlin Shield, and she plays Kyle Barnes' wife. And what she brings is an intensity and uh, a... Uh, a, a way of her delivering the character that's both strong and uh, sc not scary. It is a bit, though. But a bit. It is a bit. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, it's the mom you never wanted. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, very nice. Uh, this is Ren Schmidt. She plays Megan Holter. Who is the adoptive sister of Kyle Barnes, played by Patrick Fugit. Um, She is very funny and strong, but underneath there is a great deal of vulnerability and a far more complicated character than you ever could have imagined at the opening of the show. Will you write that down for me so I can say <laughs> yeah, that later? Yeah, it's quite good. Yeah, yeah. And the oh, performance really is, quite, is yeah. pitch perfect and oh, beautiful. You. Obsessed with poo. And yeah, I mean, she made a few poo jokes yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. Um, Several. Yes. This is the Gev. Yeah. I'll come. The Gev. There's 25 pounds. Be really lovely about that. <laughs> um, so no, no. Bill Glenister plays um, the Reverend, um, Reverend Badly. Anderson. <laughs> no, actually quite brilliantly. Um, and it, it, actually, Megan and the Reverend have like quite an interesting dynamic because they're quite at loggerheads. But you well, we didn't get the chance to work see together that very much. until much later, did yeah. we? We saw each other read through. Yeah. And then occasionally we see each other on set. We never had anything to do, and it was <coughs> much later in the series. We were like, I'm Ren, hi, I'm Phil. Yeah, right. It's <laughs> good to see you. But right. Phil quite brilliantly plays um, the Reverend, who's kind of um, the leader of. Uh, I guess the religious flock in this small town. He's kind of a rock star um, in that regard, um, but very much a complicated man who, I don't know, I feel like he's kind of like strong and, I don't know, kind of held together with a little bit of like scotch tape and glue. The just scotch. Yeah, just scotch, <laughs> just the alcohol. Yeah, yeah. dodgy. Yeah, and dodgy. He, he, he's and, a dodgy um, governor. He and Kyle um, kind of unite uh, in the first episode to try and figure out what's going on yeah. in the small town. Yeah. And this is uh, Mr. Patrick Fugit. Ooh, you did Ooh. the last name correctly. I, did, I, said, I was asked on the radio, by the way, yesterday. Oh, really? The, the presenter said, is it Patrick uh, Fu Fugit? Fug uh, Fugit. Oh. Fugit. Mm -hmm. um, yes, Patrick Fugit, who, who, gives, who gives us car bombs. <laughs> and um, generously. Rather <laughs> than <laughs> very generously gives us car bombs. Willingly. <laughs> and um, yeah, the whole story, the crux of the story, really centers around Kyle and his past. Um, and uh, he's a very uh, complex, dark, melancholic figure. A bit whiny. Well, it's understandably, kind of like understandably, understandably <laughs> what he's been through. Do you know what I mean? Um, and yes, it's very much, I think, which is the thing with all best dramas, it's very much a slow burner mm -hmm. in many respects. So we get to, you have time to, to establish and get involved in the character, see where they're coming from, and pretty much the whole story centers around Kyle's journey. Awesome. And you, uh, have you two actually got Christian names? Because in the course, it's just like the chief reverend. Have you got actually, the characters like, 
I have actually, yeah, yeah. but I they, they didn't tell me it until <laughs> much later because we were going because yeah. I, I was coming. I said, like, "What about Jerry? Call him Jerry Anderson." <laughs> <laughs> or um, um, they, they, we were doing loose ends of Radio Four yesterday. The presenter's called Clive Anderson. Mm -hmm. So I said to him, "I said, um, any relation? Are we related?" <laughs> yeah. uh, but then so after all this, I was thinking of names for the Reverend, and I came up with John. <laughs> <laughs> Your name's right. John. Johnny. That's why I like John, because I, I called him Johnny. Trina. Isn't that, Trina. Isn't that from Rockstar? John Anderson. Lead singer, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. That's Is he really? That's you, you did that so well, maybe I should be hanging out with Van Gelis then or something. Yeah. <laughs> with, the, with the rock star in the hotel, the Thick Mink or Fifth Harmony? Oh, in our hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Little Mink. There are lots of little teenage mix. girls lined up outside. Oh, that yeah. Hotel. Oh, that's yeah. what they're there for. Is it yeah. Little Mix? Mm. Is it Little Mix? No, for girl band. Definitely not us. <laughs> I was going to say, but I was like, no. I know you're not. We've all passed them many times. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I yeah. came out once and I thought, yeah. like, sorry? It's Denethor that just walked by. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Where is it? Where? Denethor. Which one is Genitals. It? What? We got to go. You mean it wasn't Gandalf? I wonder if he's here today. Giving us his wig. Oh, you're losing right, us. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Right, if you thought that was silly, right, this is going to be really silly. Right, because you're in a show about demon possession, and at any moment any of you could be possessed by a demon, mm. I want you to give you your best demon acting mm. on a famous line from a movie that's not demonic at all to see how he... <laughs> so if you, okay. you want to start from the top one could be yours. Oh, oh wait, you've chosen just... for us. Mm -hmm. uh, can I do my own? If you want, yeah. yeah. Do you think? Ren and I were talking about it'd be funny if there was a demon that just, that was totally harmless and like really fun to hang out with. One that was like, <laughs> do you guys have a box of crayons? <laughs> Can we do some colouring drawing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just Wait, feeling about drawing. Do the John voice, like the demon John voice. Demon John voice? What do you mean? From, um, from uh, Robin Hood. Remember, we were talking about that. In the oh, or over. if... Yes, what's the voice actor's name who played uh, uh, Prince John in, in the animated Robin Hood? Oh, was it George Sanders? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, George Sanders. Oh! Who did I Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. yeah. Outcast. Outcast. Oh! oh. <laughs> I know you. Oh. It was, wasn't it? Was I think it was so, yeah. He played Shere Khan in the jungle. Yes, well. yeah. Yes. That's yeah. Idris yeah. Elba played Shere Khan. Oh, in the classic one. In the proper one. Okay, I've got one. Okay. okay. All right. I'm so sick of these motherfucking snakes <laughs> and this motherfucking black. <laughs> 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 so, oh, is that from Samuel Snakes on a plane? <laughs> right. right. I need to smoke now. <laughs> <laughs> Making up your own is absolutely fine. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to stick to the script and do. <laughs> Nobody puts baby in a corner. That's, Ooh, that's, really that's good. good. Kate is so good at making the like horror stuff it's terrifying. Like, <laughs> it's like it's a compliment. That's what I'm saying. Because it's hard to it's do. The mom nobody but it really wants. It's terrifying. Because she's so strict. Yes. I think I'm gonna do my own as well. Um, God, I have two, and they're both from the same movie. Um, but I like I like quite like the the goofy demon idea mm. as well of like being like <laughs> very kind of that's like, like almost like googly eyed like Cookie Monster. Mm. Um, so, um, oh, how do you do it though? How do you do it? Be like, um, like Elmo, uh, yeah, but more of like, um, Cookie, Cookie Monster when he's like waiting on cookies, when he's like, cookies. is it ready yet? How about no? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> there's this commercial, but now I'm thinking of like, um, this is cough and this is Link. <laughs> Does anyone know that? No, oh, this is cough. It's a link. It's from Rocky when he's introducing oh, the girl to the turtles. That's awesome. That or, oh, that's awesome. Um, did you get the look at the license plate of the truck that ran over your face? <laughs> <laughs> that's also a Rocky quote. Anyway, sorry, moving on now. I'm quite red. <laughs> um, big finale? And then yeah. I've just been told that's it, so. Oh, I'm going to leave them. I'm going to do. Um, the Devil Possessed Michael Caine. By Michael Caine. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, all that's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what should I say, though? Should I do one of these lines? Something yeah, about... Um, I don't know. I, what, that one might be good. What does Joshua say? We all know what we know. 
Nobody. Yeah, I'll do yeah, this top one. Yeah. All right, here right. we go. <laughs> Nobody puts baby in a bloody corner. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.